Okay, y'all. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, this biscuit hard. They didn't do good with their biscuits. Mm. I just picked me up something from Chicken Fly. Now I'm sitting here at Firestone. Waiting for them to open. So, I can get some stuff on my car done. I was gonna make this impromptu video. You know, have some good old vibing music in the background, candlelit. But I decided to make this video the best way I know how. So, 2021 is here. If you didn't learn nothing in 2020, I'm sorry for you. But 2021 is here. And I've learned a lot. And I've been through a lot. In three days, right as we turned into 2021, three days after that, I found out that my husband was a lying, cheating person. So I'm single. And he cheated with the same girl whose husband I helped bury. Riddle me that. Am I mad? No. And you probably like, Key, why you not mad? I'll tell you in a second. Let me talk about it. I want y'all to just marinate on what I just told y'all. Mm. I'm not mad because I asked God for this. I asked God for it to happen like this. But when you ask God to reveal stuff to you, sometimes she gonna reveal it in a way that's gonna touch your soul, and that's what's ha that's what happened. And you probably like, Key, how you know they was cheating? How you know he was cheating on you? I call them red handed, boo. Like, red handed. Like, literally, I call them. But I asked God that whatever wasn't for me to take it away. And if this was not the marriage, that I was supposed to be in. Cause I was I was kind of over it. On the cool. Because we weren't on the same page. I had certain goals that I was trying to reach. And we just wasn't on the same page when it came to life. And as you get older and you grow. And you change. And you see things in a, a clear picture and different. And the person that you're with hasn't grown and changed at all. Then you have to make the decision if you want to be in that relationship. And I was getting closer to not wanting to be in that relationship. So, when it, was when it was revealed to me, yeah, I was hurt because of who it was. But then, right after I left him, things started happening. I got a raise. Like, right now, this is January the 10th. No, January the 9th. I left, we split up January the 3rd. Since when I left him, I've gotten a raise. Stimulus hit right the day after I left his ass. My house is happier. I didn't even realize how much space I had in my house till he was gone because I was so used to him being careless with how he treated the house. And my mood is better. I have a peace over me. Because my word for this year was peace. God, give me peace. Give me peace. And sometimes you don't understand what that peace is. And in order for me to have peace, God had to remove toxins. Not, I put an S on it because it was more than one person involved. Toxins out of my life. 
mind you, I felt something was going on between them. And I had been sad, but everybody was like, no, nah, Keisha, you tripping. It ain't like that. They just grieving over, you know, because that was his best friend. That was her husband. They just, they just grieving. They just grieving. I'm like, no, nah, something going on. But I, you know, people kept telling me I was tripping, so I put it in the back of my mind. We went to marriage counseling and everything. I knew it was going to be a problem because right after marriage counseling, he went back to his old ways. So it was like marriage counseling was for a waste of time. It was for nothing. But then I know what type of relationship I want. And I settled for that relationship because I loved him and wanted to be with him when I should not have. Ladies, don't never settle. And it's easy for me to say now that I've been through it. But had I not settled and had I kept it how I wanted to keep it with him at first because he begged me to be with him had I just settled I would have been good but the fact that I got with him no one I shouldn't have been with him is the problem for me so I ended up giving a dude 13 years of my life when he didn't even deserve a year so now I am here 40 years old we're about to be 40 my birthday on the 25th single so here i am gonna be 40 starting life over again but i'm not mad because this is my second marriage number one i just don't want to be married no more i want to live my life and i'm not you know what i'm not gonna say that I don't want to be married un un unless it's the right man and I'm not going to have to compromise. I'm not because I'm not compromising who I am or what I want in life. I don't want to be married to somebody just because I love them. They have to have everything on my list with a few exceptions. I make a few exceptions, but like the deal breakers, uh -uh. my husband going to know that on Sundays or Saturdays to get up and go fill our cars up and wash them. He going to know that. That ain't going to have to be told to him because it's going to be a given. So, yeah. Um, but I'm okay. You know, it took me a couple of days to kind of get over the shop. But once I got over the shop, I was fine. I was like, oh, okay. I don't got to take care of no nigga no more. I don't have to be responsible for a nigga no more. I don't have to deal with a nigga attitude no more. Let me stop saying nigga. I don't have to deal with a dude attitude no more. I don't have to do deal with a dude... I don't have to be responsible for nobody but my kids and myself. And that's what I'm on. And I feel like ever since I stopped messing with him, I've been blessed. Like, bliss has just been falling out the sky. So, in a sense, I feel like it was him blocking my blessings. Because I had been being with him. But I wanted to be with him so bad, I couldn't see it. I don't know why I got fries. I should have just stuck to the sausage biscuit. But, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what 2021 20, going to bring. What time is it? Okay, I'm good. And how I handle this year. I'm looking on being more productive, more business-like, and just really maintaining myself. Seeing what I like. Because, like I tell everybody, I have never been single, ever. 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 Never have I been single. When I started dating at 15, at the age of 15, I never went without a boyfriend. This is the first time I'm single. And I'm going to enjoy every little bit of me being single. I just don't want to be in a relationship right now. I want at least a year or two to kind of focus on me, see what I like, see what I don't like. Adventure this world by myself. And prove to myself, which I already know that, that I don't need a man to do nothing for me. I want a man, but I don't need a man. And that's a difference. So, if he ain't on my level, and he ain't got nothing going for himself, and he don't meet all the things on my list, and he ain't God fearing, and he don't like to go to church, and he don't like to pray together, and he don't like to... Mm -mm, he can't be my man. So, I'm finna be in this big old universe. Mm. Excuse me, y'all. By myself, figuring out life. And it's okay. 
I wake up, I've been waking up at 4 o'clock every morning. Good sleep. Good, good, good sleep. I don't feel restless at all. I get up and go to my bathroom. Didn't realize my bathroom was that big till I got all his stuff out of there. <sighs> go to my bathroom every morning, pray. That has become my prayer closet. I get up, I make my bed, I straighten up a little bit. I could, I got enough time to get myself together and take time for myself. You know, things that I never really did. I've always took care of everybody else and I've never taken care of myself the way I should. And now that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't know. I know I'm supposed to be sad and hurt and traumatized, but I don't feel none of those things. I feel, I wake up feeling happy. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I my mind glimpses back to certain things that was like, did you, what could you have done? And I'm like, I couldn't done, it ain't nothing I could have done because I did everything I was supposed to do as a wife. And I ain't the one that cheated, so I'm not finna sit up here and be trying to figure out what I could have done. What could he have done not to cheat? Because if it was a problem in our marriage, you could have came and talked to me. And the fact that you didn't, that ain't my problem. That's just something you got to live with. Because now you living out of trash bags. And I'm still living in my house. And I'm okay with that. You left with a fish tank, a toolbox, and some trash bags of clothes. I'm okay. And maybe... Maybe I wasn't a woman for him. Maybe he needed another type of woman. And that is okay. You know, we just was not made for each other. And sometimes you just don't fit. Sometimes a person, whether it's your marriage or friendship or relationship, sometimes you just in that for a season. And I feel like we was in that for a season. And he taught me a lot. And I taught him a lot. And we learned a lot from each other. And that time was up. Hey, how it happened though. But it happened. And when you're not in love with somebody anymore, it's easy to walk away. I love him, but I'm not in love with him. I haven't been in love in a long time, but I love him. You know, he was my best friend before he was anything. Like, we got each other's names on us. I don't want to get that shit covered up because the way he did it was messed up. If he wouldn't have cheated on me, we would have went out separate ways. I probably would have kept the name. But the fact that he cheated, I'm going to get this name taken off. But... You know, we were best friends before we was anything. So, I loved him. I was not in love with him no more. And now I know why I was okay with us breaking up. Because it's not there no more. Two different people. With two different desires of life. And that don't work. So, I wish him and her well. You know. I don't even know if he's going to be with her. But I wish both of them well. And I'm not mad. I'm not bitter. I just want peace. And when you want peace in your life, you ain't tripping with nobody. You just want to get them people out your space. And I just want them, I just want them out of the space. So, now, there's going to be a new adventure of me out on my own, single. Single at 40. Wow. I think that's something. Single at 40. That is what I am. So, y'all yeah, stay tuned to upcoming vlogs and stuff. Because I'll definitely be bringing out more vlogs. I'm going to get out of here. Take these people in my car so they can fix it and do some work, just some maintenance work. And then I need to call my cousin tell her to be on her way to pick up my daughter. Because so my daughter getting out here done. So remember to think smart, spend smart, smarter, and have fun planning it all out. Until next time, I am Key, and this is Key's Playing Life. And I will see you guys in the next video. And y'all pray for me, and I pray for y'all love you guys thank you to everybody that's been sticking it out with me for years for years i appreciate it i love you guys um y'all are going to be getting more of me in these videos you know and hopefully this, these videos of these future videos will help somebody somebody that's probably going through the same thing that i'm going through because sometimes you can be a blessing to somebody that don't even know it so yeah that's what's up so i'm gonna get out of here i'll see you guys in the next video bye